Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a shop with me at Grocery Outlet. I haven't been here for a little bit, which is how I like to do it. So that way they have a chance to kind of rotate around their inventory and then I can be a little bit more excited shopping because I do not know what they're going to have in store today. So if you guys are interested to see what I pick up today, then go ahead and come on inside with me and do some grocery shopping. I will say today I'm coming without a list and um, I'm just going to kind of let the store deals kind of create my meal plan for the week. So all that being said, um, let's get in there and get out of this yucky weather. This is not a bad deal. Cosmic Crisp Apples, $5.99 for an entire bag, which is, how much does it say? I don't see a five pound bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these because we all love these apples in my house. And they also have chicken right now, $2.49 a pound. So I went ahead and got this for some sort of dinner creation. We'll see what happens. My oldest son currently is into watermelon cherry juice. So this is only $1.99, so we're gonna get it. Currently, they have these little tiny Kinder Egg Packs for $1.49, which I feel like is a good deal. These would be great to put in a little Easter basket. I'm thinking about getting these. And then they have some cute, just Easter stuffing items around here. These look delicious. Oh my goodness. These of course are cheaper at Dollar Tree right now, so don't come here for that. And then they have some egg chalk, which is pretty cute. Okay, I know nothing about this, but it is $3.99. It is degrees, maximum recovery, fatigue, fighter, tart, cherry. This smells so good, and it's a bath soak too with Epsom salt in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this for some future baths to try out. I don't know anything about this brand, but it's $2.99 here for 28 sheets. And I feel like this would be great to have in the car or if you have leather furniture like me. So I'm gonna get it. It says everywhere else it's $7.99 and I believe it. <laughs> okay, I don't know, but it says these Martha Stewart pans are 35. 42 and 45 elsewhere and that just kind of blows my mind i'm like holy smokes are these amazing does anybody know because i've been needing a new smaller pan and this is 10 bucks i'm kind of thinking about getting it just because i simply need one what do you guys think i low-key love the smell of this and for a giant one it is 16 bucks I kind of am thinking about getting it, but I also hate having a big one and like awkwardly pouring it into the washing machine. I know it's a personal problem. And yes, I know these cups, they're there, we can use them, but I struggle using them. I don't know. Star Wars peeps, your kitchen decorating dreams have come true. We've got a, the Mandalorian set here. Oh, snack attack. You've really got them all if you need them they're here <laughs> you've also got a little bit of charlie brown action in here if that's your whoops if that's your vibe it's not my vibe but i understand it for the people that do it what is this a little pineapple scrubber do these things work anybody know I've hesitated getting them because I don't know if I believe in it. Kitchen sink caddy, huh? That's really basic. For $3.99. Looks like they honestly still have a lot of the same items and I'm not really seeing much more going on sale yet, which is a bummer. These are really cute for a lunchbox, but my six-year-old does have a hard time getting the lid on and off. So heads up to that if you are thinking about getting those. These are nice looking can openers. Hmm. These are giant juice containers. Holy smokes. But Rubbermaid is a good brand. 
for $3.99. We've got some foodie stackers here, a little travel container. What else they got? Some different utensil holders. Nine to five, I wish. Sometimes for me, it's like freaking 6.45 to 5.30. America for ya. Okay, this is called a snack mix and it's the Cocoa Shake Up. So it's got Cocoa Pebble boulders, marshmallow bits, and chocolate honeycomb in here. And I bet you, you could put this in a bowl with some milk for cereal. I'm a little bit curious about it and it's only 99 cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this for the kiddos. Other things they have over here is they do have a strawberry chocolate pistachio little macarons for $1.99. They have some gummies over here that are just okay priced. I do like some minion gum gummies though for $1.49. That's an okay price. I'm gonna go ahead and try these two because my kids love coconut flavored things. And this is only $1.99 to try these. So I'm gonna grab these for the kiddos. They do have pre-packaged bags here as well for $3.99. And then they have a variety pack of these for $2.99. So I am gonna grab one of these. Let's see. Best Buy date is May 28th. These will so be gone by the time May 28th comes around. Um, we've got birthday cake ones up here. My oldest does like these brownie brittle treats for $2.99, but I'm gonna skip on getting these since I've already got some sugary sweets to eat up. And I don't know, they got some famous Amos for $1.99, but I think I will skip on those as well. Oh, I've never seen cinnamon sugar before. Yum. $3.99 for a box of 12 of these. It always blows my mind the prices of nuts here. So this is obviously a holiday pack, but it's got cocktail peanuts. It's got the sweet and crunchy peanuts and then honey roasted peanuts for $3.99. And they're best buy like in 2024. So you have plenty of time to eat these. They have these, they have, what else did I see over here? Oh, here, this brittle nut medley for $2.99 and it's got honey roasted peanuts, yogurt covered raisins, peanut brittle, pretzels and cashews. That looks so good. We already have some nut mixes still in my pantry. I'm not gonna get them, but really good deals. The one that we're still working on is this bad boy right here for $8.99. Macadamia nuts, $4.99 here. These are crazy expensive in the stores. And then for meat sticks, they still have a lot of the same choices, but I think the one I'm gonna grab my husband this time is the Mountain Man brand. He's never tried these and they're only $3.99, so I figured why not? I will state though that I've never seen Cattleman's Cut and Chili Lime, so I'm a little bit curious about that, but I'm still going to skip them and go for a deli style meat stick for him. Figured I would scan over the uh, cookies they've got right now. These gingerbread mini ones are 99 cents right now, obviously because they are out of season, but you can kind of see the prices, $2.50 to $1.99 each. I feel like this is normal prices at Walmart pre-pandemic. Now everything is crazy, so that's why I love it here. It's like um, memory lane, really. <laughs> we got all of these up here I've never seen before. These look interesting toasted coconut squares. I feel like I've seen those before at Marshall's. Ooh, I might get these. I said I wasn't going to get any more sweet treats, but I do know that my oldest loves these. So what, this is a six pack for $1.99 or you can get a 12 pack for $3.99. Must stick with the six pack just because he does not need that many freaking Oreo dippers. Am I right? <laughs> Lots of Pringles, pop chips, pretzel chips, 
They have pumpkin Kodiak power cakes here right now for $1.99. They also have the Lucky Charms complete pancake mix. So you get the pancake mix and the cereal topping for uh, breakfast for the kids. They have Annie's organic confetti for $1.99. Those look delicious. What is the calorie count on you per three pancakes? It would be 200 calories. I feel like that's not bad. I wonder if my kids would like these. I want to try them. Like in the waffle maker. Hmm. For $1.99, let's do it. Okay, for a value pack of these Fruity Pebble treats, there's 16 bars in here. Is only 99 cents. That's crazy. And then their best buy is late April so you have plenty of time especially if you have a lot of kids in your home to get these eaten up I'm thinking about grabbing them I don't know if I want to go for it and maybe just bring some extras to work because I'm not sure if the kids will eat them all but for 99 cents I feel like I just you know what I can't walk away from this I cannot lots of sugary sweets dang it <laughs> i'm trying to be better i swear i am this seems like a really good deal too 99 cents for these nature value sweet and salty granola bars with dark chocolate i'm trying to find the best buy date so april 14th i mean if you're kind of packing the same things in your lunches all the time 99 cents is a really great deal so a dollar 99 they have some mini ones for 99 cents as well. These ones are peanut and their best buy is May. So you have a little bit longer to eat these ones up. $1.49 for crunch berry bars, not bad. Nobody told me that when I became an adult, I would be so concerned with the price of paper products, but I hate it. I hate it so much. But in case you guys are having a hard time finding things a little bit cheaper, I guess this is the best we get. Uh, Brawny, $7.99 for six rolls. We've got $8.99 for the Bounty Prince. Those are the nice thick rolls. And then they have some jumbo packs here, 12 for $28.99, which I don't know, that's probably similar to Costco. And ugh, toilet paper, $13, that's just rude. Okay, we're only gonna pay attention to cereal that's under $2 because to me, that's when the deal is. So they've got Lucky Charms Honey Clovers for $1.49. LOL surprise for 99 cents. All of this is rubbish. $1.99 for Fruity Pebbles. I don't know if it's also $1.99 for the Cocoa Pebbles because there's no sign there. They've got some Kashi Go for $1.97. They have some Trix tracks. It looks like a dinosaur version of Trix for $1.99. There's also some Holiday Rice Krispies down there. Um, we're scanning, we're scooting. They have some wheat checks. And is this Fruit Loops? Um, I don't know. I think there's something missing that was $1.99. Some great grains with strawberries, $1.99. Chocolate caramel is gone, but they still have peanut butter crunch. That's actually really good. We're not gonna get any cereal though. $1.49 for the crunch berries. Oh my goodness. They still have the Halloween crunch for 99 cents over there. Um, I think we caught them all. This is a fun little spring kit for your kiddos. You can make some dirt dessert kits. Looks like they've got little gummy bugs that you can put on the top. Super cute for $1.99. Uh oh. Can I get it back on there? Success. Um, let's see. They still have the epic cookie kits. They have a pumpkin spice one for $1.99. This cookie dough cookie bar kit for 99 cents. They have the cocoa pebbles cake kit for 99 cents. So if you're looking to make a fun dessert for your kiddos, oh my goodness, how cute are these? Melted snowman cooking cookie decorating kit. Makes 12 cookies for 99 cents. 
That's precious. And it's good until August, so you still have snow where you're at. You can make little Funfetti cake donuts. They've got chocolate and a pink vanilla for $1.49. And that's all the good stuff I see. Ooh, cookie cups are only 99 cents. For $1.99, I can get these egg-shaped white cream chips. You can make something super cute with these. I'm a little bit interested in these. For $1.99, they feel little. They feel cute. I bet they melt, though. I guess you would just put them on top of something before baking. Hmm. But if you are a baker, this might be the place to come because I feel like their prices are completely reasonable when it comes to baking. I've never had this sauce before, but it's $2.99 and it's a caramelized onion butter. Doesn't that sound delicious? I think I want to do something with like a tortellini in this or I don't know, something rich. We're going to get this one. I've had lasagna on my brain lately and these are only at 99 cents. I'm just trying to decide if I would need one or two. I'm a little bit worried that they're not in a box too, so they might get really broken up. What to do? They have all sorts of noodles here that are just kind of regular priced in my opinion, but you know what, while you're here, while in Rome, get the noodles. I just don't know what kind I want. These are kind of fun. I like rotini. I like shells. Oh, I love shells. Maybe I'll get these ones. We'll make something happen. And then I'll get shells because shells are just, they just hold all the sauce, you know? Oh, heavens. They have a couple. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm seeing this Cracker Barrel. For $1.99. This is one of my favorite brands of mac and cheeses, so we're definitely getting this. I really like the sharp cheddar, but white cheddar is good too. They have this, and I'm interested in it because my husband used to get a pizza mac and cheese. This is Freak Flag Organics Cheese Pizza Mac Freak. I just, I want to know. It's 99 cents, so maybe I'll buy this and put it as a side to some dinner and see if it compares anything to the pizza one my husband used to get. These are also only 99 cents. They're the Gardetto Crisp Peppercorn Ranch Flavor. I feel like these are probably going to be delicious. And they would be great in a couple lunches for my husband. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of those for him. Let's see. $1.99. $1.99. The Ritz, Ritz Crisp and Thins are not a bad price here. They're $1.99 each and they've got a bunch of different flavors. Ooh, $3.99 for a 12 pack. Ooh, Best Buy May. You know what? These are all great flavors. I think that that's not a bad deal at all. $3.99 for 12 of these? Let's do it. Kids will eat that up. Ooh, sriracha noodles. You have my attention. They have extra spicy. They have original and they have chicken for $3.99 each. I've never seen those before. And I add sriracha to my noodles, so I'm a little bit intrigued by it. I'm just wondering if it's too intense, you know? Uh, we already have so many ramen packets in my house of different flavors. I feel like I shouldn't do it, only because of that. But they do have some different ramen, like pho, beef, chicken, vegetable some snapdragon spicy oh my goodness tonkatsu ramen no idea no idea but they have it they have it here looky here for 8.99 you can get this a giant 
pack of different hot sauces. How fun is this? I love it. This would be like a fun Easter egg hunting thing for a pepper head, don't you think? I totally want to try all of these, but I'm not going to do it. This is just really fun. I like it. Looking at the meat, and there's some decent priced items. Thinking about maybe, I don't know, maybe making some biscuits and gravy this week. So I got some country style sausage. I got some $3.99 sweet Italian sausage for pasta. Kind of thinking about getting bacon for BLTs because that's always an easy thing to do. And I already have one package of bacon at home to use up. Just trying to decide which one to go with. That one looks fattier than this one. Maybe not. I hate it when you cook bacon and it just disappears in the pan. Mm, go with this one. The Royale bacon. Okay, fun fact, I've never really watched Stranger Things, but this packaging, I'm into it. And it looks like it is a Supreme Pizza for $4.99. So I'm going to throw this in the freezer and then see if I can find a pizza that I think the boys will eat. I'm thinking maybe this freshetta one for $5.49 or... Hmm. Ooh, look at those stuffed pizza bites. That looks good for $3.99. Red Baron maybe? I can get a cheese and a pepperoni for them. For $4.79. I think I'm gonna do that. I have a lot of pre-packaged lunch items, which I know is loaded with sodium and can cause you to gain weight. But sometimes your girl needs easy, and I really have been liking the lean cuisine bowls. I don't think I've tried this one. If I have, I forgot. I think I've had this one and I liked it. But they're under 400 calories for a lunch and I always feel satisfied after eating them. So I might get a couple. I love it when they have the Uncrustables here because I know that they are like 40 cents cheaper than Walmart. I grabbed their last strawberry and then grabbed a couple of these grape ones. And I always like to kind of just look at the random frozen items, see what they got. Have Zatarain's breakfast bowls, a six pack for $8.99, $2.99 for some plant powered protein, sausage, egg, cheese, ratata. They've got Jimmy Dean's, $10.49, eight count. Kind of expensive. Look at all these $10.99. Stop it. We're not here for that. <laughs> Oh, what's up here? Wasabi. What's up, Wasabi Snack Crunch? That looks tasty for $3.99. Some crunchy kale chips, it looks like, for $3.99. I bet these smell terrible. Cauliflower Bites for $1.99. can guarantee you they do. Let's see, French Toast Sticks, $9.99. That's a pretty big box, but I still feel like that's too expensive. Expensive. Paleo toaster waffles, some Star Wars waffles for $1.99. Ooh, a thick and fluffy tiramisu for $1.99. Some home style for $2.99. We've got Paw Patrol, thick and fluffy blueberry for $1.99. I'm not seeing anything that my kid would be pumped about. Ooh, pure mango strips. These feel kind of hard though. I love mango though. Oh, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. Ooh, $2.99 a pound for these pork ribs. My family loves when I do ribs in the um, pressure cooker and then I will broil them in the oven to give them that crunchy outside. So good. $2.99 
of vegetarian options. Pepper stir fry. I'm gonna grab this. It's only a dollar forty-nine. Do something with the chicken that I bought. Thinking maybe teriyaki chicken over rice. Forgot that I need some rice, so I'm just gonna pick up this one for a dollar fifty-nine. Ooh, they have this so of jasmine rice. It's five ninety-nine, but it's a bigger bag. Let's see, this is five pounds. I mean, you know what? I'm gonna get the Thai rice because I know I love that rice so much more. And it's resellable. <laughs> they still have my zero carb tortillas here. Yes, I got some. I need to get some tortillas for breakfast burritos. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sausage, egg. I'm gonna get some. How much are these? Two ninety nine. Yes. And I need bread because I decided I'm making BLTs. Bread is okay priced. I think I like this kind. 70 calories a slice. I'm not getting these because I don't think I would like either flavor, but they do have instant boba kits here for $4.99. They have matcha flavor and taro latte, which I have no idea what that flavor is. I'm thinking it's brown sugar. It might be lavender. Ugh, no thank you. All done shopping at Grocery Outlet, and I didn't show you guys everything that I got, but I did get frozen pizzas for an easy dinner night. With that chicken, I purchased some um, frozen peppers and broccoli to do like a chicken stir fry one night. I already have onions at home. I picked up that bag of rice, so we'll have a chicken stir fry one night. I have some Kinder's teriyaki sauce that's been sitting out in my pantry to use up. So we're gonna do that. I already have the frozen Chinese food dinner night um, from Trader Joe's. So I know that I'll use that up this week. I did buy a pound of hamburger meat for $5.99. And I'm either going to just make a hamburger helper type meal with sauce and cheese um, and noodles, or I am going to freeze it and hold on to it until I want to make either burgers or a meatloaf. I was gonna make a meatloaf this last week and it's pretty involved and takes some time for it to cook so I just didn't do it. Um, but it's one of those things I'd probably do on a weekend now that I know my time restrictions and I'm honest with myself about that. Um, and then I'm gonna make some breakfast burritos. I did pick up some country gravy. They had some packets there for 59 cents. It's like grandma's recipe brand or something like that. But I've got breakfast sausage. I already have a bunch of eggs at home. And then I bought some little frozen hash browns for, I think that they were $2.49. Maybe they're less than $2. Um, so I can break those in half and put them in my um, breakfast burritos. I love how that car is lined up with me right now. I love that for me. <laughs> um, and then I got bacon to either eat with the breakfast burrito night or um, I got some bread and tomatoes to potentially make BLTs because I do have lettuce already at home. But I have some potatoes I need to cut up. So kind of on the fly. Uh, the main thing is, is I was trying to think easy. It's food that my family will eat. Some of it's semi-homemade. Um, and uh, yeah. So let me know down below if you ever shop like that. Do you ever um go into the store blindly or is that your normal because for me i normally make 
some um, plans when I go in there and like pick out recipes and all that beforehand, but I don't know, I'm kind of scatterbrained lately, so I just kind of went in there and went rogue. Anywho, let me know what you guys thought of this shopping trip at Grocery Outlet, and until next time, take care, love always. Bye! This is not a bad deal. You can get an entire bag of Cosmic Crisp ass, assholes. <laughs> this isn't a bad deal. You can get an entire bag of this is not a bad deer. Oh my gosh, why can't I talk? Oh no. <clears throat> I'm eating some of these and I just <clears throat> had one fly to the back of my throat. I'm okay. I'm okay. I didn't show you guys everything I got at Grocery Outlet this time because there was a few areas that were... Oh my gosh. Hold on. <clears throat>